Good morning. Anmol classes welcomes you. In this series, we are going for seeing the Python programming. The syllabus that we are going to follow is it is from Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, Hyderabad, JNTUH. This is for BTEC uh, fourth year, first semester. This is for computer science students. So uh, here, uh, course objective and course outcome is given. Apart from that, list of programs are there. We will be just focusing on this. The first program here it is telling uh, write a program to demonstrate uh, different number data types in Python. So here for solving it, we should know that what are the different uh, data types that are there in the Python. So if we are going for seeing the basic data types, so in the Python we are having Boolean means it will present two values of logics and associated with the conditional statements means either it will be true or false and it is represented as bool second one is integer integer means positive and negative whole number and values means set of all integers that is your it is denoted by your capital letter and it is represented by int int next one is complex so it contains real and imaginary part a plus ib set of complex numbers and it is represented as complex next is float float means real numbers floating point numbers and it is represented as float the difference between your float and integer is that in the float we are having the decimal point okay whereas in integer we are having positive and negative whole number so if you are seeing the float the float value is more realistic finally we are having a string a string means all strings or characters enclosed between single or double quotes sequence of characters and it is represented as str in a string data type we can write any english type say suppose like happy birthday to you so anything we can write in the string so we can write any english code we can write in the string here in python i am using a spider python 3.9 uh, in this whatever this part is here we are writing the program this part is the console in console we will be getting the output sometimes when we are writing the program it may be possible that we need to enter some input then only the program will be executed that entering will be done here in the console and third this part if you are seeing this is the variable explorer here we can even see the plot also if uh, we are writing the program where some plot is there so we can see the plot here so program will be writing it here we need to enter some input or for seeing the output we will be seeing this console and if there is some graph or some plot is there that will be appearing here so this is the your s spider python 3.9 now let us focus on the real programming part so here if you are seeing the program it is starting with hash hash means uh, after this whatever we are writing it is just the comment so it is the comment line is for the user it will not execute so here after hash we are writing python program to demonstrate different number data types in python so this is the comment so first we have seen uh, that the first was the boolean so we will be writing a b is equal to true means boolean means either it will be true or false and after that again we are putting hash after hash whatever we are writing this will be your comments only so after hash it is note uh, boolean has truth value that are case sensitive example true t is caps so whenever we are going for the boolean it will be true or false and we should write capital t or capital false 
So now we have written V is equal to true. And now if we want to uh, print that one, so the command is print, then double uh, say double quote, the value of a C is colon, then double quote is there, then B, then here we are having backslash n after that we are having its type is colon single quote then type b let us see that what exactly this means is so in the print command after this double quote or after this single quote uh, print means uh, we can go for either double quote or we can go for single quote it doesn't matter much so after double quote whatever we are writing that will be written as it is so in the output we'll be seeing that it will be showing the value of a c is then it is showing a b b means whatever the value of a b that we have assigned that it will be showing it here so in the output will be showing the value of a c is it will be writing a true here we are having a backslash n backslash n means it will go for the next line so in the next line it will show its type is its type is type b type b means what it is the class will be your boolean so it will be uh, in the print it will be showing the value of a c is so here we have assigned b as a true so it will be telling as true and after that we are having backslash n means it will go for next line and there it will be writing uh, its type is so what is the type b type b it is your class boolean so that it will be writing in the second line okay and below that here again we are writing a printer single quote note boolean has a true values that are case sensitive example true in bracket capital t t is caps so in single quote whatever this content is the same it will be uh, will be getting in the output so that will be printed so first data type is your boolean so this boolean it is completed second is your integer so we'll be writing i is equal to 7 so print uh, the value of a c is uh, then uh, say this is the syntax of your print uh, double double uh, colon is there and then double quote is there after that we are having this i i means what is the value of of integer that we have assigned that it will be showing so the value of a c is it will be showing a 7 and backslash n is there means then it will be going for the next line and there it will be telling its type is and what is the type type is integer similarly after that we are having c c is equal to 27 plus 8 j so this is your complex so print a double double colon the value of a c is double colon comma c so what is the value of c that we have assigned that is your 24 point uh, 24 plus 8 j so as it is we'll be getting it and after that we are having a say backslash n means it will be going below line and there it will be mentioning that uh, its a type is so type is your complex then we are having f is equal to 70.1 so this is your float so print uh, the value of a c is so what is the value of a uh, float that we have assigned 70.1 that will be appearing here then we are having a backslash n means after that it will go for the next line and there it will be mentioning that its type is so type is float and finally s is equal to s means it is for a string s is equal to here we can write anything so here hello everyone okay then backslash n backslash n means it will go to next line this is unmol classes python programming so it will be mentioning hello everyone in the first line and this is unmol classes python programming it will be mentioning the second line so that only we are going for the print so print the value of a c is s s means your string so directly whatever we have mentioned here hello everyone it will be appearing in the first line and we are having backslash n its type is then uh, in second line we'll be having this is unmol classes python programming and backslash n its type is so what is the type uh, type is your string so that will be appearing in the second line so this is the explanation of the program 
now let's go for the execution of the program so this explanation we have already covered now we'll go for executing it so you see that here we have written the program this program is the uh, python program to demonstrate uh, different number data types in python so if you want to execute this one so here in this console will be getting the output now uh, let us see for uh, running this program this uh, green color uh, your triangle type is there we need to press that one and there uh, it will be showing the output so here uh, we are seeing the output it is telling uh, we are having uh, the value of a c is uh, true its type is class boolean okay so from here it is taking so first uh, as you are having hash it will just neglect this one this is the comment line b is equal to true b is equal to true then after that hash note whatever the content is there that is the comment so it will neglect that one so it will start from print print means the value of a c is so here we are getting the value of a c is as uh, we have written b is equal to true here you are getting a uh, true and then you are having a uh, backslash n so it will go for next line its a type is so its a type is it is coming in the next line so here you are having a class boolean so boolean it is represented as b double o l okay then we have gone for print a single quote note boolean has truth value that are case sensitive example true in bracket capital t is caps so as it is it will print in the next line so here it is writing uh, note boolean has a truth value that are case sensitive example true in bracket t is cap okay so this much it is executed then we are having i is equal to 7 i means it is your integer okay print the value of a c is so what is the value of uh, i e we have kept uh, that will be coming here so here you just see the value of a c is uh, 7 its type is so what is the class class is your integer then next you are having the complex c is equal to 24 plus 8j so here it is mentioning the value of a c is 24 plus 8j its type is class is complex then we are having f is equal to 70.1 f is your float print the value of a c is so what is the value of a float that we have mentioned here that will be appearing here and in the next line uh, it will be getting that its type is so you just see the value of a c is 70.1 its type is class float and finally s is equal to so s means here it is your string so here we can write any english like sentence we can write hello everyone so hello everyone will be appearing in the first line then backslash small n okay this is anmol classes python programming so you see the value of a c is hello everyone this is anmol classes python programming it is appearing in the second line then the it is telling that uh, backslash n its type is type s so its type is class is string so in this way this uh, python programming is uh, successfully executed thank you